हेलो एवरीवन हाय श्रुति हाय ओके सो वी आर लाइव जस्ट सेटिंग माय कैमरा लिटिल बिट ओके हाय प्रिया थैंक यू सो मच डियर फॉर जॉइनिंग हिम हाई कनिका हाई लिंडा थैंक यू सो मच गाइज फॉर जॉइनिंग इन सो टूडे एज आई सेड वी आर गोइंग टू मेक सम मिक्स मीडिया बिकॉज मिक्स मीडिया सो बिफोर दैट डू लेट मी नो इज माई ऑडियो क्लियर एंड एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू सॉरी इज माई ऑडियो एंड वीडियो क्लियर Okay. Hi Alisha. Thank you so much Diva for joining in. Hi Sunita. Oh, thank you so much Kanika. I'm so glad uh, today my network is okay. <laughs> सो विल जस्ट वेट कपल मिनट्स मोर एंड देन वी विल स्टार्ट हाई मोनिका थैंक यू सो मच डियर फॉर जॉइनिंग इन सो आई हैव दिस एम डी ऑफ बेस टूडे एंड आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट वेरी सिंपल मिक्स मीडिया because i don't like to complicate stuff so yeah <laughs> as you know me i always go with simple and easy uh, home decor pieces so yeah so when uh, i shoot for uh, you know uh, youtube so that time i create something, uh, thank you so much rani so that time i create a little bit like you know uh, big project or something but uh, in live uh, i always try to keep it simple and uh, you know so that way uh, it will take very little time as well so i think uh, it's good time to start okay my glass mat is stuck oops okay now it's okay so can we start or oh, wait so today i am thinking to use some crackle paste and we can also use some stone paste as well i'm just gathering the stuff that we are going to use today so before starting do let me know shall we go with a uh, black gesso or white gesso so uh, guys do let me know shall we uh, add black gesso or white gesso here do have black gesso i do have white gesso in here so if we add black gesso then um okay what you are saying okay Okay, so we got vote for black gesso. So let's go with the black gesso. 
ओके सो फर्स्ट आई विल अप्लाई अ लेयर ऑफ ब्लैक जेसो हियर एंड देन वी विल एड अवर एम्बलिशमेंट आई जस्ट वॉश माई ब्रशेस okay so let's start so first i'm going to add a layer of black gesso because i'm going to add crackle paste on it so so the crackle paste will stay on our base sometimes what happen is like when you apply crackle paste directly the paste comes off from the base so that's the reason it's necessary to apply um, primer first okay and now i'll just dry this quickly i have very a uh, simple composition in my mind like uh, i have this resin embellishment okay so what i am going to do today i'm just going to add uh something like this here okay so something like this and this will be our focal so see this this is the simple composition i have in my mind uh kavita uh, this is let me check how much it is so this is this is 6 inches 6 inches by uh 3 inches 3 or 4 inches okay so this is the idea that i have in my mind today so now let's add some crackle paste hi shruti let's add some crackle paste you can also do some stenciling work but uh, uh you can also do with uh, sorry you can also do some stenciling work but i like to apply my paste like uh, I like to apply my paste it like uh, you know directly on the uh, project. So that's the reason. And thickness is depends upon the layer uh, you add uh, you know you add on to the project. So the thicker layer is the you will get uh, thick size cracks and if you apply thinner layer then the cracks will be kind of you know uh, minute and thin. So I'm just going to cover my base with this. And crackle paste that I'm using is from Little Birdie. Oops. set okay. and now again we will hit this ah that's that's there monica <laughs> i truly relate uh, with this situation so i'm just going to hit set this so it will get dry thank you so much shruti hi sunita so just hit this and you will able to see the cracks are forming now
hand and show to so see uh, hopefully the cracks are visible on instagram it's looking a bit bright i guess hi karishma hi kushi ji thank you so much for joining in to so see uh, the cracks are visible in here so it will take little time to get dry hi nipa Okay, so see how beautiful cracks we got here. So if you want more cracks, you can add some more layer of this uh, crackle paste. So what I'm thinking, let's add a little bit more of this crackle paste here because the uh, cracks are not visible here. So I'm just going to add some more. and i'm keeping my layer a bit thick okay now let's dry this to see enough of this and now i will cover this again with black gesso so later on it will be uh, it won't be hard for us to cover each and every uh, thing you know uh, so again add a layer of black gesso so right now you won't be able to see anything here but uh, when we start adding colors and you know shading and highlighting stuff so that time you will uh, see like how it's look how it's looking okay so that is done okay hi priyanka Also make sure uh, to distribute your heat because we are working on MDF and MDF will pop uh, pop if you add lot of heat at one place. Okay. So now uh, I will there my embellishments here. So see, I have very uh, basic plan, like simple plan to add my embellishment. Can we add a uh, black gesso on embellishment and then stick it? Maybe that that will just save our time. Yeah. So now I will stick this. Hi, Maudi. Thank you so much, dear, for joining in. so what i am going to do i am adding a gel medium as well as glue gun so it will help us to you know work faster because gel medium takes little bit time to dry so here and on this as well if you want to buy this kind of embellishment then do let me know i do sell these embellishments just in case if you don't have mold and you know you want casting for one or two project then yeah here 
like this okay and uh, again i will add this using sorry again i will add black gesso so here uh, when we add uh, our focal point later on it will be hard for us to you know cover uh, this this base so see this is done cover this one see this uh, this way uh, i feel it's easier to work you can also do one thing like you can add uh, all the things that uh, whatever you want to add onto project and then you can uh, add layer of white gesso or black gesso but nowadays i am finding this easier to work so yeah okay that's done then we uh, dry this quickly also if you want to use this kind of embellishment on some cylindrical portion then uh, you can just hit them and add it okay so now what i'm going to do i will add this piece so the focal will have some strength here You can also add a double sided tape as well. Like this. If you have any question, do let me know. Hi Sushma. Thank you so much dear. Okay, like this. And now I will add this one. So add your embellishment like you know uh, this this should will not uh, seen like this I'm going to add okay so here I'm just adding my gel medium at the corner and again some glue gun. and place it oops okay see this is looking amazing look at this and now we will add some more uh, stuff here just to fill the empty space so I have these stones that I am going to add Okay. Make this. I need small stone. Oops. See here, this might be looking big. These are looking bit uh, big, I guess. Let's go with smaller ones. Let's go with smaller ones. They will look nice. Yes. These are looking nice. So. Using glue gun. I'm sticking this. And whenever you are working with glue. Just. Make sure you should not burn your hand. <laughs> it, that happens with me a lot. This really adds beauty to the project, I feel. I had smaller ones. Thank you so much, Naudi. Okay, let's add some smaller ones here. Oops. Ah, they are so small, let it be. 
I don't have that much patience. Or we can also add some uh, these stones. Let's add these stones. So these are deco stones. Okay. So I'm just taking some stones in my disposable cup. And in this. Um, I'm going to add a mod podge. You can uh, do one thing like you can add a uh, glue on the surface and then uh, place this stone. But I love the clustery look of this, so that's the reason I'm mixing this here first. There is something in here. And now let's place this. Place it and just spread it. So this creates really uh, amazing texture onto your project. Just here and there. Oops. So these are uh, this works as a filler as well as they will add some interest on your project so it's all up to you if you want you can add if you don't have this kind of a stones then you can add any kind of you know granule that you have with you Basically, I am adding all over, all around of this composition. Just a little bit. So see how beautiful it's looking. So just have some simple composition and add this kind of a stones in your project. Now it's getting dry. Put here. Okay. I don't want stone on this. Just spread it out a little bit. Okay, so see how beautiful it's looking. Hi, Ekta. And we can add a little bit here as well. Okay, here. Like this. Just to fill this empty space. Okay. And little bit in here. Okay. And now I will dry this and then we will cover it using a uh, black gesso. Hi Pooja. Okay. 
just try this Let's do share this live in relevant groups and do invite your friends to join us. Also from next week I'm thinking to arrange some giveaway. So let's see how that works. Okay, so it's it's dry now, and now I will cover this using black gesso, and our project will be ready to color. Uh, hi, Akanshi. We are making a mixed media uh, MDF panel. So I have just made this composition and uh, now we are covering it with black gesso. Hi Jisna. So see this way uh, it's really easier to cover your project. So now it's coming all together. Just make sure to cover this as well. this side okay so it's cover uh, yes Akanshi these are uh, resin castings I do have these for sale just in case if you would like to purchase uh, do whatsapp me or just message me okay or uh, they are also listed on my page now again I will try this and now I need your help like which color shall we go with This Rani here also it started raining. Okay, so see this is done. Tell this how beautiful it's looking. Hi this name. Okay, so now uh, which color shall we go with? Shall we add this one? Shall we go with some red? What do you guys say? Hi Jumana. So we have some grape and then we have some red. Or shall we go with a um, blue shade? Blue and this will look nice. Blue and this one definitely look nice. Uh, yes guys it's raining so we will just uh, quickly finish this session because again if it start raining heavily then my network will start fluctuating okay and you can also add some uh, this kind of a stone paste in your project but right now i'm not going to add any paste uh, because the uh, we have a lot of texture going on here okay So let's 
take out some blue and green okay let me check if i have green yes i do have green thank you so much jyoti okay now uh, i'm just taking out some chalk paint here okay oops it's not ready to come out what happened buddy so it's about to run out so yeah i have very little paint left here uh i don't think green will look nice with blue because we don't have any leaves in here so all these are flower and you know uh, stuff like that so we will make some com uh, combination of this grape and blue and maybe little bit of red that might look nice so let's see and i recently got this new sponge brushes because the uh, other ones that i had they are completely ruined like this see now just take little bit of blue on your brush you can also use any kind of uh, you know um, flat brush but sponge will definitely give a uh, interest so yeah now let's add this around the corners and don't worry if some paint uh, comes on the composition we are going to blend this so yeah so around the uh, corner first time adding this blue okay this is really a good shade i have to buy this again okay so this is done just a second okay and with same a uh, sponge i'm just uh taking out the extra shade and with a uh, same sponge brush i'm picking the other color okay and using light pressure add this color see how beautiful the shade is looking i hope my camera is doing justice to this shade so just light pressure I'm just loving this color combination. Just come little bit on to the background as well. Okay, and now again using same brush, I'm going to pick up this red. Okay, and just add it. so look at this the features are getting enhanced now so look at this how beautiful it's looking ah uh, thank you so much jyoti so just here as well
and this side so look at this how uh, beautiful piece we have made just now using simple things just few castings and you can also do this kind of a stuff on big size mdf as well so you have to just uh, add more uh, flowers okay and now i'm taking small brush I'm just picking up this color and i'm adding this onto these uh, stones that we have added can pick up some blue and that way you will get nice blending of the color when you use same brush just make sure that you know you will uh, brush don't have lot of paint on it otherwise you will get muddy strokes oh thank you so much rani so this is done almost done and now we will add some highlights on it using metallic paint thank you so much jumana I do have resin embellishments available on my page so you can check it out so just go to my page and in shop uh, section you will find uh, the designs of the castings that i have okay and now we will add some metallic on it okay some metallic wax here before that let me uh, put this paint back because we have taken lot of paint here and that will get waste i don't know whether it's the right thing to do or not but i don't like to waste my paints Oh, thank you so much, Kushit Ji. Some people do say that you know when you take out the paint, uh, then you should not put it back into the bottle. But it really works for me, and yeah, I don't like to waste. So yeah. Uh, what you are saying, uh, Shruti? Yes, absolutely. You can use uh, acrylic paints. Too. it's not necessary to use chalk paint only only thing is chalk paint gives matte finish so that's the reason i love using chalk paint otherwise yeah you can go with uh, acrylics so now i have this wax again here if you don't have wax then just grab some uh, metallic chalk paint sorry metallic uh, acrylic like this so this also will work okay so do let me know shall we uh, use acrylic or shall we use wax both are in gold shade oops look at the mess here so uh, which one shall we choose shall we go with a uh, metallic wax or okay so let's go with wax so uh, just take some wax on your finger you can also use brush but i don't know why i don't like using brush so yeah hi padma okay so just take 
some wax on your finger and using circular motion add on your oops, I take out the extra add on your project see so see since we have added a um, chalk paint uh, using sponge so they also create kind of you know texture onto the project so when you apply wax on it or you know acrylic paint on it it will uh, get enhanced the texture will get enhanced it's really easy to use waxes oops see everything is getting pop like this so while doing a uh, waxing like while doing added you know a while uh, adding wax is sometimes you know overdo stuffs because i just love putting wax on my project and sometimes it happens like you know um, at some places I overdo so just make sure that uh, you don't overdo the wax thing otherwise it will ruin your project just little bit here and there and the wax which I am using it's from the other crafts just in case if you would like to purchase you can visit their site and now uh, on to the background so see now the cracks are visible I hope it's, it's visible oh thank you so much Khurshid ji thank you Priyanka yes I too love this color combination <laughs> now here so very light pressure and using circular uh, motion you have to add wax on your project and we are almost done with our project so see oh no on instagram people were saying uh, acrylic so maybe next in my next project i will definitely use acrylics acrylics also give same effect guys so there is no difference only thing is it's easier uh, waxes are easier to apply so yeah just add some more onto the edges so we are done Thank you so much Jigisha. So we are done with our project. Uh, thank you so much Shruti. And now this wax will take around uh, 1 hour to dry. And then we will varnish our project and done. See, I will just give you a close up look. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this mini session of mixed media. Do let me know if you have any question. And also uh, thank you so much Madhvi. Also uh, if you are new to my page or Instagram. I do have YouTube channel. So over there I do share a lot of tutorials. So do join me over there as well. And we have Facebook group. So there you can, uh, there you can share your projects with us. Thank you so much Monica. So my wax is all over. And my hands see how messy I am. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, sometimes show uh, step two crackles. Yes, definitely. Uh, definitely, I will uh, try my hand on that. Uh, I haven't tried that product yet, but definitely I'll try my hand on that. So, see, that's the reason I never apply nail paints because my nails are always covered with uh, this chalk paint and everything 
सो या थैंक यू सो मच गाइज फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन आई विल बी बैक मे बी नेक्स्ट वीक वी विल प्लान समथिंग न्यू एंड टुमोरो इज संडे सो टेक रेस्ट एंड बाय टेक केयर एंड हैप्पी क्रिएटिंग